is Terry from D-Lab. I've got Bob with me. You're from Ohio? Right? Yes. And we're here at the Caustic Center, Farmington Hills, Michigan for the Michigan Antique Radio Club's Electronics Expo. If you want to see more information on this, check out their website at theve.com. Let's go in and check out the goodies. Hey, man. Free entry time. All right, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey man. how are you? We're here to do it. Good. Yeah. The D-Lab is here. Yeah, we're here, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep. Good, how are you? Excellent. Good. So there's two rooms full of goodies. Nice to meet you. This is where you pay to get in. Got me in a restaurant. Bob here. Watch your videos all the time. All right, man. <laughs> Cool deal. Yeah, we're going to take a guided tour here and have some fun. Great. Yeah. All right. Do you want to have a good Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do the uh, initial walkthrough. Not a lot of people here yet, but it is filling quick. So this is the silent auction area, right, Marcia? Yep. So Marcia's going to cruise through this way, and I'm going to go the other way. See you later, Marcia. All right, Bob. I'll let you be the tour guide, ma'am. Oh, I don't know, Terry. This is your, this is your specialty <laughs> here. I'm just looking yeah. at all the hey, old morning amateur morning. equipment, if yeah. there is some. Sure. Yep. So what I do is I'm just going to take a real slow yeah, sweep just, of everything. Boy, there's some. I'll tell you, there's a lot of memories here, just oh, like yeah. this, Scott. You know, I remember that as a kid. Yeah. That's solid state, isn't it? I don't think know. it is. I think so too. Yeah, yeah, it says right on there. Yeah, solid state. Yeah, those are nice looking radios. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I just love this. I love the smells too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's some. Yeah, burnt bakelite. Yeah, yeah, burnt yeah. dust on tubes. That's always a good one. A little nice Pioneer there, super clean. All right, so I'm in the market. For a B&K 747 2 checker for a fellow. He wants okay. me to pick up one. So if you happen to spot one, let me know. I will. But yeah, if you want to cruise around, man, that's oh, why I am. I'm, I'm, going to. I'm just going to look around, but that's I'd love to have you come back and narrate. <laughs> okay, and yeah. I need to settle up with you too okay. on, uh, on this equipment. Okay. Thank you. Oh, also, uh, when you get a chance, uh, I'm interested in that Drake. Uh, 2B that you have to, oh, yeah. you know. Yep. Okay. Well, after the shock of the uh, Ranger 2, you might not want that, Drake. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah pretty, I know. Kind of pricey. Sure. All right. Nice old Hallicrafter back there. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of LPs. It's part of something else. Like a weird TV show or something. Oh. I think so. This guy's looking on eBay to see if he can get a good deal on this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking on Macy Marsh. I don't even know who she is. Oh, me either. How you doing, man? Doing well, man. Man, what about hey. the old guys here? <laughs> John, Macy Marsh. 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 Hello. Ooh, look at that. Looks like it's been riding around the back of a pickup truck. Alrighty. So we got the good stuff over here. It's kind of a copy of a Transoceanic. It's beautiful. Take this nice and slow so you guys can see what it's all about. Right. Here we go. <laughs> and I'll tell you the very sweet story. So you know, yes. <clears throat> Once again, we always run hey, across each other. Good, Good man. You, man. Hey, you gonna buy that? Oh, it's no, really I'm, light. You can have it. <laughs> I've already got three of them at home. I bet you do, man. R390. Yeah. I am looking hey, for a cabinet. Oh, the A. Yeah. I'm looking for a cabinet for a Johnson Viking 1 that I'm repairing for a guy. Okay. If you have a spot one, let me know. Yeah, man. this is the only bare cabinet that I've seen actually that's not the right size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not all that pretty either. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. Meeting up at your place with Bob Drake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure enough. 
Morning. Do you recap some of those Saturday nights? Those two I have not. I have two of them. Do you? Yeah, they're a nightmare to work on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look to me like that. Yeah. Check out that record player. That's crazy. It's beautiful. There's a tube checker back there. Not the right one there that I'm after. Players. One of those kitty players. Yeah. Hey man, how's it going? Got a whole bunch of oscilloscopes. Hey Terry, how you doing, man? All right. <laughs> hey, I should buy a scope from you. Yeah. yeah, I got oh, some that work and I got some that need work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got two or three at home that don't work either, but. Just well, that one's easy. Yeah. That's a 2430. Yeah. That's like one of their first digitals. Yeah. And it's got a power supply issue, so that one should be fairly easy to fix. Okay. The cool thing with it is, I have the original owner's manual. Oh, cool. It's got and service information in there? No, unfortunately no. not. And, oh, okay. the, and the uh, startup oh, man. reference guide. Cool, man. But this is one of the first digital oscilloscopes that has cursors. You can do measurements with it. All right, let's go this way. Looks like something's growing on that one. That's typical, though. A little uh, civil patrol. Very cool. A horn. If you got a hearing problem, you can stick that jobber in your ear. Yep, you're right. I said jobber again. Try to refrain from that. Lots of goodies on this table. Yeah. You're selling or buying? This is your much. X-ray vision is not working. Oh. Yeah. It's beauty. Here we go. This guy just made a sale. The dust is free. A lot of old cabinets here. Ooh. Some old keys. I opened up the back. Keys and tubes. Talk about tubes. Take a look at these. Look at that. So you might want to make two trips. Features feature. It's very active. Looks like a Keith Kid amp. A matching preamp. There's a couple of tube checkers right there. Now there's the military ones. Oh, there he is. There. Hey, man. Hey. How's it going, Doug? Good, man. Find anything interesting yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm just doing my initial uh, sweep to show everybody the goodies. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I saw your wife talk to her. Yeah, she's. Oh, there she is right there. Well, the one like to welcome all of the Yeah, I thought she was taking you down to Hamcation. Take. <laughs> Go to Hamcation, that's yeah. fun. But well, we look forward First to this, you know. It's a lot of fun, it's easy to get here, too. Yeah. In the gym, yeah. next to the stage, run by the man. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Score of Look at that. The green the machine. So a few refreshments there. The sound auction, the first sound auction is filling up pretty quick, but you can still get some items in there. Take a look at all the great items for sale at the sound auction. Bidding on the first sound auction ends at 11 o'clock. The contest officially opens at 10.30, so you can get your items over there then. I'm actually looking for a pair of 70, noon, 27 John A's. Will be giving his presentation on the stage. The Ranger 2 that I'm working on. I'm sure they're here.
Once again, I'd like to welcome you all. Look at this crazy thing. To the Vintage Electronics Expo 2020 Winter Edition. A gun sight. Thank you. U.S. Navy. Man, that shit weighs about 80 pounds. <laughs> cool little red radio there. Is that a Harbin? Nope, it's a Philco. Statue of Liberty, she said it rough. How are you? How are you? Good, how you doing? How's it going, man? There's a few goodies over here I didn't cover. We'll hit this. Oh, another tube checker. There's a lot of tube checkers here. Not the one I'm after yet. Some keyboards down here. Crazy TV antenna. Bunch of CDs. Is that a Scott chassis? Phil Harmon. Hey, how much does home? that oscillator weigh? Think you're working on that? Oh, you saw it. Did <laughs> yeah, you watch it last night? Yeah, yeah the, I'm getting mixed reactions, man. What's your name, sir? You might as well be on. Larry Folks. Larry, good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Yeah. 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 yeah, well. Here, I'll kill this. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going. A lot to cover. Cool <laughs> radios here. Meeting up with a couple of people. How's it going, man? Hello. <laughs> Trains, I guess. Big old tube hanging out with some chassis. Look at the size of that tube. You know, even those tubes are bad. They make great night lights. Oh, look at this. Creature feature PA amp. RCA. Man, it's too bad I'm not buying one here. Turntables. Got the Imperio phone there. Right too. Amp chassis. Altec Lansing. <laughs> We'll do the best you can here. Get some good coverage. I'll ask this gal if she's got the tubes I'm looking for. She's got tubes. All right, question of the day. Uh oh. Do you have any 7027A tubes? I'm the wrong man. Wrong man to ask. Obviously not the, not the right. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to go with that. Okay, so you're I'm not the tube expertise here? No, no. Okay. no. All right, that's cool. I'll come back. Yep. All right. Stop by a visit with Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know Mike. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mike. How's it going, man? Yes. Okay. And you're on YouTube. Isn't that great? Oh, cool. All right. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. This guy's got a, a wagon full. Now, I've got one of these that I use at HamFest. I call them a Hamgen, right? Uh -huh. So what are you calling your wagon? You guys got a name? Uh, well, I don't have a no. nickname for it, but we use the heck out of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Never, never go to a flea market without it. That's right, man. It's the way to do it. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on moving here. Here's a homebrew machine. I thought that was a Variac. It's just a power supply, but kind of looks like a Variac, doesn't it? I got Variax on the brain these days. Rocktron must be an R20. I fixed hundreds of those. Some bows. Some real ones? How are you doing, man? Cool Pioneer. Yeah. 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 Real. Yeah, Old tweed looking allied speakers. Those are pretty. I like those. Generators. A lot more tubes. What is this thing? 
I saw one of those linear turntables close in place. A little lathe. That's what they are. All right. Moving along. Spin around and see what we got over here. 60 bucks for that gigantic Crosley. It's a good deal. Uh, the same size? Same size. Okay, but the 2010 had... National uh, receiver. Synchronous detection. And there. Helicraptor S40. One of my favorites. Lots of goodies here. Love the grill on this radio. Very cool. There's a lot to cover this year. How you doing, mate? Knobs. This guy Classic radios. Hello. Hello. Oh, check this out. <laughs> That's one of those tether cars. It had the, um, like a Cox 049 engine in them, I think. And you actually have the control handle, like one of those airplanes. You control airplanes. That is really cool. I really like that. These things smell good. Looks like license plates. Whole bunch of license plates. Find anything at these swap meets. There's a beautiful Zenith. You know, uh, I didn't understand it. Uh, I'd like to have one of these clocks in my shop. I think they're cool. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. 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 There's a Rat Shack special. Council here. <laughs> it's like a searchlight of some type. It's pretty vintage. It's, oh, there's a name on it. And it's upside down. Yeah, getting crowded in here. We're causing quite the business. Oh, that? 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 Hey, how's it going, man? Do you, uh, hey, do you remember your wallet this time? Yes. Excellent. You gotta answer my email. Well, it costs money for me to answer. You got money? I got money. <laughs> Welcome to the Winter Vintage Electronics Expo. I just want to remind everyone to come on over to the Telephone. seven auction tables. Check out all the great just items. Talking we about have for one sale. of those with a friend at work the other day. It's a pretty awesome Jay. collection. We're running out of room actually. In the first sound auction. And then you could have your John Denver album on so your telephone. So come on over and look at all this great stuff we got. All right, still moving. Let me go look. Nice old Zenith yeah, there. Oh. 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 This guy's blocking me deliberately. <laughs> How you doing, man? I guess he didn't think that was funny. Needs a tuning belt. Zenith Transoceanics. I used to have one of them when I was a kid. I want to say 38. Oh, that's a Sony. Joe, is that 38 or 40 or what? Rendig. Okay. I see one of my favorite artists over here. I'll have to point this out to you guys. First, we got to take a look at these radios. These are those uh, Fadas, I think. Yeah. That's what Marsha should get me for our anniversary. Yeah. A little fader radio. 
325. Really not all that bad. All right, so over here, somebody's selling albums. This guy's putting out a bunch of receivers. But over here, let's listen to all these albums when I was a kid, especially Alice Cooper. Yeah, here we go, some more tables. Yeah. Some uh, Electrolab stuff. And I've had it sitting in my warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little creepy, but it's, it's so, so powered up. So I said, I just haven't, there's been no venue that it made sense for me to sell it until today. Ooh, there's a boat anchor scope on the floor. Let me show you this thing. Yeah. You'll see why it's on the floor in a minute. It's, it was in my trailer. Gigantor Tektronics. That's a tube type unit on special for $99. It's certainly a one of a yeah, kind. That's all right. <laughs> oh, here comes that copyright music hit. <laughs> Good. They're, oh, nope. I thought they were going to turn it down. They're not. So there's always a problem when they're playing music at these events. Because the uh, YouTube um, software catches it. Zappa. And then I get popped for copyright. Beatles. All right. People are still setting up, but just keep on a moving. Because I'll do another spin. What are these? Baseball cards. Hmm. 20 bucks for all the cards collectors. <coughs> 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 See another kitty. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's heavy. How you doing, man? Pop. Could use him as a D Lab character. Might have to talk to the wife about that. Piano radio? I guess. Huh? Cool. A lot of cool classic stuff. Looks like we got some of those picture records over here. Get a close up on them. Two there. And we got these. Pretty cool stuff. And every year, it's new stuff. Look at that poor thing. Still collectible. All right, got a bunch of guys over here eyeballing something. It's got to be something good. It's a helicopter, I believe. Looks like it's got a grenade on top of it. Hey, man. How's it going? You about wiped me out there. My first car was a 19. Which had rather rough woodwork. Let's put it this way. The windshield and door post. Yeah, it's getting pretty crowded in here. But what do we got here? Very cool. Wow. <laughs> Looks like big old uh, sure mixer board, maybe. All kinds of stuff. What do we got here? Some type of uh, microscope, I guess. Yeah. Oh, check this guy out. Huh? He's actually moving, I think. Oh yeah. It's kind of freaky. All right. Whoa! Dude, he attacked me. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on going. What do we got here? Hey. Rock and roll. 
I was told, I was told to talk to a couple of these guys. There's some really nice uh, dealer stock. Frank told me to say hello to these guys. I'm gonna have to do that. 25 years ago, I bought I didn't write down what their names were, but I think these guys are from the East Coast. Nope. Got some heights. You probably don't even remember. We got some goodies. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. You want some? I got some homemade rice. Okay, let's go buy the old uh, attack sheep here. Attack. Hello. All right, down this way. Another amp. Is it a Bogan or is it a Broken? <laughs> Brogan. I know you, man. Yeah, man. Hey, Frank from, um, I can't remember his last name, but he's one of my YouTube guys, and he said to say hello to you guys. Um, I'm actually not a northern guy. Oh, you're not? I'm just camped, camped out over here. Oh, I gotcha. All right, you're just here, like, taking money, and then when they show up, you leave, right? Uh, that's right. I'm just here to clean out the till. All right, man, I gotcha. Um, but no, I, I, uh, I, I am familiar with your channel, though. I've, okay. I've enjoyed it many times. Excellent, man. Yeah. All right, I'm just doing my rounds. I'll come back and pick on you. Okay. All right. <laughs> More transoceanics. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Absolutely <laughs> great. Find some goodies. There it is. Right. Cola. Yeah. 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 It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the going price and something like that? Any idea? Let's take a look. Yeah. Thirty bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Nineteen sixty-two. Wow, that's when I was that's born. Early. That was that's early. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Which is cool. And Some beautiful items here, people. That's what's nice about this meat. It's not like a typical swap meat where there's a bunch of mice infested junk. Most of this has been pretty well cared for. It belongs to collectors. You're not going to go home unhappy and the prices are right i mean look 100 bucks for that you could make yourself one killer guitar amp out of that it's a new comb very cool oh yeah how's it going man oh you bought some night lights i don't want any peace rants put a bunch of them oh man ampex it's like some more, um, oh, those are filters. Thought they were audio generators for a minute. Huh. Innovax. No idea. D Lab doesn't know it all, people. Panel meters. The tube with 12 AX7, uh, 300. Our best offer. Look, just shoot it, man. Works perfect. That yours? Yeah. Okay. Get a different angle. Alright. We're back. Uh, we charge for videotaping. Do you? Yeah. Well, you know, you didn't charge me last year, and I got you. Oh no, I don't want to be on camera. Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said last year. I, I didn't. I don't look that good. You were telling me that you were wanted in several I, states. I, I must be true? wanted all over the place. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm infamous yeah, well, everywhere. What's the name? Do you have a shop name or a website or anything? Oh, you pass on? I, I'm a wild and crazy guy. Uh, really, Steve Martin. Good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd know that. <laughs> Alright man, I'll be back to pick on you. <laughs> now, when, I was, when I was a kid, if somebody asked me my name, I'd say put in tame, ask me again, I'll tell you the same. You guys remember that crazy thing? Hey, guess what? I went to basic training right there, and oh my god. And I went to tech school at Chinoo. What's the deal with, you, with this, huh? And, you know, but this is Army. That ain't me. But I really like that. I may have to go into the D-Lab collection. We've got some other vintage stuff here. Military stuff. I love it. Right. Got a console here. Let me zoom out. Hey, man. How's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. What's on TV? 
Um, oh, hey, right this there. one works. Look at there. Yeah. This one works too. Does it? Yeah. Excellent. It's man. all restored. It can be yours. Now, how do you find like the flyback transformers? I mean, because isn't that stuff like super rare nowadays, or depends is there a on, source? Depends on the model. I mean. Swap meets, the early television museums got a whole bunch of different parts like yokes, picture tubes, a lot of old uh, shops when they closed. The ball was like, hey, we got all these NOS picture tubes still in the boxes you guys want. Oh, okay. And then they sell them for a small fee to help support the museum. I bought tubes that way. Okay. Um, yep. Some of the online groups like Video Karma is a good one, or the Facebook groups for vintage televisions. There's about three or four. So you can stuff. still support this stuff. That's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a helicrafter, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I've never seen a 17-inch heli. Wow. I've only seen the little 7-inch uh, yeah. electrostatics because they fit in the same cases as their ham gear. Did. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Thank you. Great hobby. Do you, are you on YouTube or do you have a website or anything? No, no? I'm just a hobbyist with a day job and a family. So yeah, it's, I'm, you know, I'm I pick at them a few hours here and there and eventually get them going and then sell yeah. them off to another home. Good deal, man. So that's what it's all about. I got a small house, so I can't let them pile up. I got you. I got Especially my, those. Yeah. <laughs> I got my grandparents' Admiral. They bought new in 48. They were the first people on their block to have a TV, and I restored that one. That was the first TV I ever restored. Wow. I got bored with radios and I wanted another challenge. Unfortunately, Admirals are pretty straightforward sets to work. You know what, man? With, with your personality, how the easy person you can describe this stuff, you should get a Magnavox YouTube channel. Serious. Speaker with the wooden you case, tear up. nice wooden case in the silent right. auction. This is your first uh, appearance. No sheet uh, I've, I've had little cameos. It's okay. the first we really uh, speaker. It's good. Nice Frank case. Ferraro said to look for you. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. All right. Hey, Please Frank, hope you're watching. Thank you. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, man. I'll get back All with right. you. Have okay. fun. Okay. It's not rolling, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, this? No, no, no. Oh. You mean like vertical going yeah. do, do, do. No, it's fine. It's good. Sometimes the vertical gets flaky. Yep, yeah. it's looking good so far. All right. Hurry up and sell it. <laughs> I got one guy that's interested. We'll see how All right. All right, this thing over here. Oh, now this is the auction area, so I'm gonna come back to this, but first let's do a uh, aerial shot of the event in this room, and then I'll go to the other room. Right, here we go, up and around. <laughs> That's room one. Let's move on to room two. All right, here we go, room two, which is actually a gymnasium. There's another mega pile of stuff in here. All right, I'll do my best. It's pretty packed in here. Piles and piles. Yeah. Yeah. Record player over here. Kenmore. Yeah. Kenmore. Street. You lived on Kenmore. Kenmore. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Swapping shops. Yeah. yeah. You, may, maybe everybody I, can see you. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Uh, Why not, man? I just want to say hi to uh, Bob Fargo, W8RMV, who didn't show up here because he's oh. a jerk. <laughs> and. Uh, UAB didn't show up because he's so long way. He lives in Cleveland, so. But you don't want to identify you. yourself. You'd rather, you know, hack on no, these guys. So who are you? I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was at that meeting there for a second. I'm sorry. Just for a second. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you, too. All right. Off we go. The show. Oh, yeah. And that one had the optional frosty dial. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. 
batteries in the box. Right. Man, there is so much stuff in here, people. Another TV. A lot of TVs here. That's the battery pack. I would actually like to have something like this so with like a test pattern on it. No, they don't make them anymore. Right, right. Oh, this guy's got a jewel here. I used uh, 9 volt batteries and others to uh, make it work. Uh -huh. So that is a ba battery powered unit then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Battery of dual power. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can plug in an AC if you wish. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent. This one, that one, and this one are all. Uh, battery or AC powered. Okay. Excellent. Hey. Want to do a second one? <laughs> so somebody just located another one of those uh, HP 201Bs that I'm doing my little uh, repurposing on that everybody's kind of upset about. So anyway, there's another one here and he said it's like $19. Okay. So I'm going to go take a look at it. Now check out this technology. More HP units. This was later on. Oh, what beautiful construction. HP really had their act together back then. Stuff wasn't cheap though, was it? Back then, yeah, yeah. There's all your tubes. I got a pair of 8640B Hewlett Packard signal generators, okay? Yeah. I got what? $375 in one with a down converter. Yeah. And the other one was two and a quarter, and I got a new one here to it. Yeah. Those things were $49,000 plus when they came out without a bunch of the options on them. Yep. And they sold them faster than they could buy. I know it, man. Try that these days, right? Can't, because we got some competition now. You know what I mean. Great. Well, the military is not spending all the money on the stuff, so the contractors aren't spending all the money on the test gear. Yep. Yep. So to remind you all, used to have one of these. It was a great generator. 100 bucks, guys. That's top of the line. All right. Go, oh, hold on. I thought you were supposed to have purple hair. I didn't even recognize you. Purple, yeah, you're kind of yeah, pink today. It's not, it's, uh, not yeah, yeah. like it usually is. I got you. I got you. All right, off we go. Some more goodies. Now down here, we got a crate. I wonder what's in that crate. Uh, okay. It's on Pandora's box. Yeah. You're in trouble. Yeah. Whatever it is, they got it like. Ah, I better not get in there. It might pull me in. Yeah. Eat you. Hey, you want to buy a can of squirt? 50 cents. You that will work the player, huh? Okay. Walking by a bunch of stuff behind me. I'm gonna have to flip around, cover some of that. See, there's just a mega ton of equipment here, people. What do we got here? Is that a Macintosh? Yeah, it is. Macintosh 60 watt amp. $1,700. All right. Council Row back here in the corner. Alright, let's flip around because I missed all kinds of stuff behind me. Yeah. They just got here. Who wants it? Look at that. Oh, tether cars. How much is that? Four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, there's a beauty. Find any treasures there, Terry? Yeah, many. Lots. I hate when you're looking yeah. here. I'm looking for smoke. You're looking for smoke. Smoke. Okay. To put back in my radio. Ah. You let some out the other day. As long as you don't let it out of that meter on the Ranger, that's a very bad mistake. Okay. Several guys have made do that they, error. Do they have smoke here, though? Um, have you seen it? I've smelled it. Maybe it's here. <laughs> All right. Ooh. 
Wouldn't it be great to have all this stuff in your house? I love that. That's very cool. I have old telephones. Now guys, you know your new little smartphones. This is how it started. Rotary phones, okay? Probably a lot of people don't even know what those are unless you watch maybe an old Batman episode. So here's the touch tone. I remember when these came out, I thought, man, phones can't get any better than that. Well, now look at us, right? All right, new bro. That's right, I'm gonna get you on there. Now, what, what are you trying to jump with those cables? Yeah, right? These <laughs> <laughs> are not cables, this is actually a uh, species of snake. There wow. you go. And, uh, are, those, are those actually like high grade audio patch cables? Is that what Speaker I'm seeing cables, here? Yeah. Speaker cables, okay. Yeah. All right. no, it's a snake that's been domesticated. Like wow. plug itself into your stereo and get really great sound. Yeah. yeah. Are those custom made then, or? No. No? It's a company, Chozel. Huh. I'll be. Yeah. Heck, maybe they'll yep. send me something for plugging them. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, good seeing you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to maneuver around here. So it's like this lady's got a mega ton of tubes. Oh, I know why. Because it's the tube guy. He's in every meet. I got to talk to him. First, you know, I got to see more stuff. Here's the guy that makes the custom knobs. I covered him last year. I'll come back later and I'll let him plug his product again. Oh, that's right. I also have to collect on my commission for giving him free advertisement last year, don't I? Wow. I got some kind of aircraft gauge here. Very cool. never know what you'll find. Ooh. I know some Coca-Cola collectors that would love that stuff. Lacy. Okay, I gotta cut and go around here. Yeah. You know, that's a automatic fingernail clipper. You just fire that up. Yeah. I bet that would do it. It would, yeah. <laughs> they make a lighter like that too. It's like, oh yeah, you want to send these That's very good. It's like, I've got out I keep hearing somebody calling my name. I think people are trying to divert me. I never quite understand. How you doing, ma'am? Like the hats. They all got a hats going today. This guy's got his cool hat. Military hat, right? Military hat, yep. Yeah. Yep. I was 12 years Air Force. Oh, okay. Yep, we're good, man. I only did six. Oh, close enough. <laughs> Just shooting the goodies. All right. All right. We've got a whole bunch of big old speakers here. Might be EVs. I don't know. No? Or Gatron? Never heard of it? Heard of Altec Lansing. Wow. Another record player. Chassis there. Looks like a homebrew or maybe it's repurposed in that cap. What do we got here? It's RCA stuff. Sorry if the video is a little bumpy, guys. I'm trying not to slam into people and get mad at me. Right, so at the front, we got a bunch of speakers, some advents here. Looks like Sir and Vegas. You can always tell by the orange cone. These have been reconed, though. What else we got? Lots of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to dart down. Oh yes, I have one. Oh, wow. They're nice. I like the 66. Probably as much as the more This guy's got a mega ton of amps. Go around the other way. Well, you ever 
There's 6v6, 75.9 A little bit of recapping going on. You can see the main shoulder has been abandoned, which was always a good practice. No, that, no, we talked about 748. There's a big old amp. Those are Hammonds. Alright, we're all starting to fight our way down this aisle. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a real to real that guy got. Stuff is moving. I haven't bought nothing. Okay, well we'll see you around. Need a lamp? Is this an armchair radio of some type? Philco. A couple pieces of test gear. How you doing, man? Rats. Little Fisher. Midway through the second room now. Still looking for that uh, $19 HP generator. It's one of those RCA little changers. Those are very cool. Nice Sony. Sony made some great receivers back in the day. So I used to have them in my shop, and the thing was like super old time. Look this angle. It's like some old toy. There we are. My kids got to use it too. That's what I forgot. Hey man. This guy follows you all the time. I forgot my video camera. Well, then, then he needs to be on video, man. No, no, no. Yeah, why not? Who do we got? Who, what's your name? My name's Matt. Matt? Good to meet you, man. Too. Yeah, you guys uh, check out the D-Lab videos, oh, yeah. huh? Cool, yeah, cool. On the guitar, he's not. Oh, so you like two amps? Oh, yeah. Okay. I so are you watching the new repurposed thing? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the latest. Oh. Yeah, well, the latest, I'm, I'm taking an old HP oscillator and converting that into a tube guitar amp. And there's some mixed emotions about that. So, yeah. Well, I've seen your mixed emotions about the antique radio. Those are so cool. Yeah. He hates that. Well, you know, I, I get it. Yeah, I got you, man. That's cool. I do the old audio song. Yep. Jerry does a great but job. He loves it. He's a good player. All right, man. Well, one of these days, I'll get you on there playing. All right, man. It's good to meet you, man. All right, spin around. What else we got here? Well, Mac. Um, Bill says you always get your sound. <laughs> What's that? Bill says you always. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm at every one of these, I'm man. I'm this, is the first one. this is the best video to shoot because I just walk around, talk to people, uh, camera doesn't work. I'll say this. Yeah. Uh, you selling everything you do? Um, here on the coast. All right, you got in some conversations there. Uh, so we'll keep going here. We've got about half this room to cover, and then we'll do an aerial. Or maybe I'll buy something. I have not seen Marsha. That's not a good thing. A bunch of albums here. Hey, you buying anything yet? Oh, sockets. Ha. Do you remember on one of your videos when you recapped a Drake R4B? Yep. There was a resistor across that can. Yep. I think that's a 1K, isn't it? It was hard to wow. get out. Yeah. And you just replay. I mean, it didn't make sense. Yeah, to, you use the old one, just the put a new one, one in. Yeah. And there are a few more items to cover. Another tube checker. Still have not spotted that B and K unit. Uh, no I don't know if I get down that to way. Check out the first I'll just auction. try, but. So lots of great items in the sound auction, so come on over and take a look at everything. Albums. Place your bids. Cassettes. We got about one hour left. The first sound auction closes. How you doing, man? 11 o'clock. Thank you. A nice old receivers. Huh. Check this out. I'm sure somebody would like this. HP terminal, maybe, I guess. 
Maybe it was a portable computer? I don't know. Hey, see you again, huh? Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. Some uh, needles right. for your record player. Right, right, yeah, 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 for sure. CD. Okay, well, I see some HP stuff. Maybe we're getting close to that one that I was telling you about. The Lafayette receiver with the original box. It's big, like, it's not, it's not quarter inch. Pioneer K set deck. Down here. Probably think a wild guess. Totally a wild guess, I would say. It's a power supply for microphone. Like a vacuum power or a microphone or something. On albums. JJ, I wonder if that's Joe Jackson. Jumping tall. Elton John, what do we got here? Like, past or heaven? Wow. Kind of look like bags of uh, Halloween taffy, don't they? A lot of caps. I'm not in the market Dollar at this bag time. Faster, so they get off around the table. Dollar a bag, people. Cheap way to build up your inventory. Scope. Helicopters, <laughs> and then we got uh, what is it? UMP. UMP. FM signal generator. Oh, that's one that's nineteen dollars. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, I do see the HP. We're gonna go that way. This that guy keeps trying to wipe me out. Didn't see anything there I couldn't go. live without. Send four. Very it's pricey it's back in the day. Well, it's been the show. And I, got, I can give you... Uh, I haven't seen... I haven't been here for one more years, but... Yeah. I haven't seen the gymnasium. All the yeah. tables are sold. 19 bucks. A little Model different than ham show. Yeah. Everybody's calling me. You got to put me on a spot now. Oh, no. 747. Yep. Okay. All right. Who, who do we got? Phil. Phil. Ke Kilo India 8 Echo Sierra. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to meet you, man. Good so you, you say man. you're here because you saw... I watched T-Lab Electronics on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yes. And I was unaware of the show, and I found out, and I called, and it was already obviously sold out. Yeah. And the promoter, or the guy that was running it, hooked me up with a fellow who only bought half a tape. All right. So I got the other half. Excellent. So is it because you saw the announcement with Marsh and I, like, drinking wine and beer and being cool? The one before that. Ah. When you were converting the old piece kit to a... Oh, your, very your, your milling machine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying to repurpose that old stuff because, whoa, otherwise, you know, it ends up in the junk. So I'm just trying to give it new life. All some people often. don't like it, you know. Some people are like, oh, I can't believe you're tearing that up. I was like, well, what do you want to do? Like, go to scrap them? What are you going to do? With, what are you going to use an old frequency generator? It doesn't work. Anymore. Right? Exactly. So, whatever, man. That's the dynamics of it. It's no big deal. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's good, good, good meeting you, man. Yeah, yeah glad you're here. Oh, I, I got so much of this stuff at home. All right, so we got a SX-62A. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is, man. What do we got going on here? <laughs> you tell me. Well, oh, that's a uh, solid state rectifier. Somebody uh, pulled out the rectifier tube and put diodes with a little resistor in there. So, yeah. It looks, crystal's nice and new. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Right. <laughs> oh, look at this guitar amp. Premier. Man, that's cool. I like that. I bet you some of you guys would like me to buy that, but there's no price on it. You think that's a factory installed handle? Yeah. Oh, got a bunch behind me. We're going to flip around here at the end and go back. I've got a red one now. You like the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, this guy's got some nice radios here. I, 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 I like will, this one I will on the end. Money you've never it kind of looks like a violin case. Is it a table out. model radio? Mm, yeah, more or less. Man. 725. I tried to sell a couple radios for you. I took pictures sent them my buds. Let's go back around this way because I spotted a couple. I spotted this plot, too, now. What do you got going here? It's 
pretty wild. I don't know if it's actually operational. Yep, yep. It says it works perfectly. Alright. Trains. I think that's O scale, I think. I've seen these tuners. Yeah. Little sound craftsman. Excellent. Okay. Allied uh, stereo amp. Nice. It's very clean. Attention, right. Rick Clark. We are back Rick to the Clark, HP. Please meet Dennis at the entrance. Rick Clark. Will be another repurposing project. All right, let's go to the last file. Little right, city here. I'm sure, my grandson would love to destroy this. Okay. I know we all remember those. We'll go down those okay, little glass okay. rods. Um, we have some vehicles out front that are parked in handicapped spaces that do not have handicapped stickers like or handicapped. If you are parked out front in a handicapped zone and you do not have a handicapped tag, please move your vehicle. Thank you very much. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, 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 I remember you. I was looking for you. Yeah, how's it going? Where you found me? Post a cell phone number where you, uh, you can be reached. Buy anything good? Yeah, just a couple of. We've had some complaints okay. about people want to buy stuff and there's no one at the table. So what do we got? Watch your tables. There's lots of people buying. Lots of money out there. So please consider posting a sign with your cell phone number. Oh, trouble table. getting this. See that box? Yeah. Thank you. Take that out of there. Okay. Oh, geez, it's kind of heavy. That's some shoes for you. Some shoes? Yeah. Oh, careful now. Trying to open one, one hand there. Careful now. Oh, jeez. Careful now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. What do we got here, people? You mean you, you came all the way here with that bottle of wine for me? Yeah. <laughs> Marcia, you looking for me? Yeah. Guess what? This guy told me to reach in the bag and get this box out and look what's inside. <laughs> wow. And you know what? I brought a glass and a corkscrew. There you go. So by the end of this, yeah, we'll sit over there and throw some bread. Over there on that table. We have bread and wine. Okay. Yeah. So here's what the story is on this. Yeah. My wife works for a Swiss pharmaceutical company. Huh. And um, one of the many things that they own is they own this this uh, winery is in Spain, and they own, own this. And wow, well, that's very cool. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I do work for wine. <laughs> that's, that's what I saw. <laughs> well, I appreciate it very so, much, sir. You're welcome. That's very cool. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, excellent. All right, Marsh. So it's made in Spain, right? Yep. Wow. Excellent. Wow. Well, I'll have to feature that on a future video when I get her open. Yeah. Yeah. It won't be Robert Mondavi oh, helping me this time. Yeah. yeah. Tempranillo and Cabernet and Syrah. Okay. Excellent. So that'll be really interesting. Yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate Where you, you thinking all of this me. Video at Terry. On YouTube. Okay. Never heard of it? Well, if you're gonna tell yeah, YouTube, yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, he knows me. He's been at our house. Oh. It's Kim. Uh, I'm gonna have to yeah. slap Kim. you. Kim, I'm sorry. Kim Heron. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. I remember that. It has been a while. I, yeah, yeah, it has been like, I had I had hair back then. You still do, it's just gray. Yeah, it is missing. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, I didn't realize how much hair I was missing until I videoed myself doing some stuff, and I looked at the video and I was like, oh, like oh, wait a minute, that's me, I don't have any hair. I found your channel from the video of this event last year, Okay. and I can't tell you how many of your videos I've watched from the past year. It's great. And you still great. want to meet me? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, what's your name, sir? De Dennis W. Dennis. W uh, C H C. Oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm not just kind of getting into this whole restore thing. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Now, so you're going to get into the tube aspect, like yeah. tube transmitters and things, then? Yeah, eventually. Or? Right now, I, I picked up a uh, 
Pilot Crafters SX99 oh, okay. summer that I'm, I'm working on. I've got a lot of parts for one of those if you need it. I need, a, I need an S meter. Ah, I already sold that. Oh. Yeah, that's the hardest part to get right yeah, there. I also yeah. need the uh, sensitivity knob that clicks on this opposite side. I've got that. You got that? Yep. Yep. I'll have to send you an email. Yeah, send me an email. I'll, I'll get it out to you. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you sold it. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, man. That's <laughs> the way it goes. If you know. ever have a lead on one. Okay. I'll let you know. Is there I'm any a, here? I'm a friend of Gary Cheek, who I believe you oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. I know yeah. Gary. Yeah. 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 Okay. He, he's responsible for me getting me into this. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, welcome. I, I appreciate it, man. Good, good to have you by. Here's our aerial view of room two. There's Marsha over there buying a helicopter for me. Very cool. Hey, Marsh, I've got room for that receiver in the back of the car. No. Yeah. No. Okay. All right, here we go. is not looking at the receiver anymore because I'm hacked. Oh, here she comes. So, Marcia. Hi. Um, can I have that receiver over there? No, but yeah. I found you a cabinet. It, oh, did you? I did. For the Viking? Yes. Let's go check it. Take a look, yeah. Okay, right and then I have something else. Oh, that's going to cost me money. <laughs> I can tell by the look. All right, let's go check out the cabinet. Okay. Okay, lead the way. Okay. All right. So I've been looking for a cabinet for a Johnson Viking. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. These look like um, violin. musical. Um, yeah, like carving in the violin case. Right. They're they're music marks. That's what I think is really cool about that. Yeah, it is. Very cool. Viking two cabinet. My grandparents had one of those. That's not a Viking you, 2 cabinet. No, mark. but you put oil on it and yeah. the oil drips down the. Yeah, the my rods. mom had one. It's like it, those are glass rods. Right. They're glass? They're glass? I just thought it was fishing right. rod. Yeah, if you hit them hard enough, they'll break. No, oh. that's just fishing rod. Oh, okay, move. <laughs> cabinet. It's probably the one I already looked at for that R390. The first two checker I've seen. Yeah. Three troublemakers. Hey Steve, how's it going man? How are you guys doing? I'll get back with you here. Marcia found a cabinet for me for that Viking 1. I've been searching forever. Let's we'll see if she got it. Oh, lost her. Chasing Marcia. Yeah. Hey. Hey, there watch out. Yeah, man. Yeah, How you doing? Yeah, I think we can pass. That was the one that Marcia, where are you taking me? What? Right there. Oh. Right there. I didn't think it was plastic. It was probably like some kind of weight. Yeah. Does he want it to stay with his... He said this doesn't go. Oh, oh. This doesn't okay. go with it. It could, okay. but it's not for that. The opening is 10 and a half. Okay. The depth is 15. Okay. And of course, this is 20 Samad. Yep. All right, hold on. All right, so I'm bringing in the big guns to make sure this cabinet's going to fit that Viking 1. Gary, I need your help, man. Terry Dayton, Terry Dayton and Gary Cheek needs N6 TLU. Hey, can, can I have a bite of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding you, man. All right, so we got a technical question. I have a person that sent me a Viking 1 that got destroyed. The cabinet just got pulverized. Was it an aluminum cabinet or steel? Yeah, it's aluminum. Would this, would it go in this? No. Ah, too tall? Okay. Yeah, put a trim strip on it. Okay. One unit trim strip. Okay, I, I, so what, the Viking must be 8 inch instead of the 10 and a half? I have a cabinet for you. You do? Three quarters. <laughs> You're my savior. How can I get it? Okay. But I'm here. Here you go, man. So, 
So who do we got? Who, who are you, man? Um, my name I'm going to leave disclosed, but I will give you my YouTube channel name, which is Timmy73. Okay. Now, so you got videos on that? Yeah, I only have one video, and I just did that so people can find my channel while I'm making new videos for okay. it. Okay. So what's your channel going to be about? Uh, vintage tech and stuff. Really? Excellent, man. Well, you're in the right place for that. I think, yep. I think you're the only one I've ever seen at your age buying this old equipment. So. I got some uh, old calculators. Just to remind everybody this guy. that the yeah. contest is now yeah. open. Cool, man. Well, it's good meeting you. Check the channel out. All right. You you subscribe to, to D-Line. I did. Yeah. All right, good. All right, man. Yeah. Next yeah. All right. to All right. the window it's good meeting you. in the front room. You know, it's funny. Every time I'm looking for Marsha, she's with another guy. I don't get it. What's the deal, Marsh? I don't know. I... Well, at least we know where she belongs. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, everybody knows where you belong now, don't they? Uh, pretty much. Because you are a YouTube superstar. One I guy, knew, knew. on the last video, one guy chimed in and said, Marsh is a hottie. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, you going to tell okay. how we met? Where did I meet you? In a pizza parlor. No, I wasn't in the parlor. I ordered a pizza. You ordered a pizza. Uh -huh. I refused to deliver it. You came and got it. The rest is history. I know. Isn't it great? Yes. Just think, guys. If I just didn't order that pizza. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Marsha's on another mission. He's kind of uh, failed on that cabinet deal, but I'm lucking out because... Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, it's it's not the right size, Aww, but it's okay. Sorry. But Gary Cheek has an original one. Oh, cool! Yeah, he's gonna get it to me. So, okay, okay. what do you got? All right, I found these things. Huh? Look at look at what they said. They've got sayings on each one of these. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like for old radio. Yeah. And uh, like this one, it says uh, "cloud of dust on a hardy high ho silver." Cool. Like it? There are six of them, and it's in the auction. I just thought it'd be really neat. Okay. Well. Go down in price. You just you write it on there, and then if you're the high price, you get it. Well, okay. Yeah. What do you want me to put in? Well, you sure can't put 10, because somebody already put 10, so you're just going to have to bump it up a little. I don't think you're going to have a lot of competition. All right, so Marsha's buying glasses. You bought me a cup last year, so... I just thought yeah. these were cool, they and you know cool. what? They can be used as wine glasses, too. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I'll try to use them as a wine glass. You know, I've got a problem with wine. Uh, yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need those wine glasses. Whoa, what do you mean? Hi. Hi. Oh, great. hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you here. It is so neat to see a whole lot of women here that I haven't seen. Well, I only live before. about 20 minutes away. Yeah, but <laughs> so it's great. Last year, yeah. there just weren't a lot of women here, and it's really neat to see the women. So, yeah. hey, nice to see you too. Yeah. Are you here because you saw our video saying we'd be here? No, I saw, I saw this little advertisement yeah. pop through my email. Oh. So, okay. and I thought, oh, I'll go. Yeah, I'll excellent. skip my guitar lesson. Yeah, well, there's all <laughs> kinds of stuff. <laughs> Here, you know, you gotta buy a goodie. Uh, I'll probably buy something. I'm, I'm just going around looking at everything yeah, now. Yeah, so. me too. Me too. Good. But cool. Good. Looking at all the stuff my dad used to have. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we'll sweep the silent auction items. So I guess you just pretty much put your name and a price on the paper, and if you're the high bidder. It's yours. It's kind of strange because whoever you're outbidding could just walk up and say, hey, I've been outbid. I'll bump that up another dollar. But whatever. <laughs> what do we got here? HP 206. I'm not going to buy any of these HPs though because, you know, I would hate to ruin <coughs> that beautiful piece of history here. Yeah. Oh, I'm being called. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, man. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Good. Good timing. Okay, who do we got? Barry. Barry. Yeah. Hey. You taught me a lot that I know. Oh, yeah. I didn't see you walk by my booth. Oh, I'm uh, way up by the stage. Did you walk by the stage yet? Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So well, I'll come. I'll come look at the booth. Are right. you gonna make me deal on something? Sure. All know. right. You got two? I don't have two, ah. but I got restored radios. Okay. All right. Let's go check it out, man. Yeah. Let's go. Right. It's Thanks. good. Yeah. 
All right, so Barry's taking us to his table because I, I shunned him. I didn't show his stuff. <laughs> so is it back here too? You got everything yeah. back here. Okay, I'll go right back there and sweep it, man. Get close-ups. Do an exclusive. Zenith there. That's a beauty. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Now might be a good time to work your way back here. Um, this is really original. Never used. Oh, wow, man. Huh. Is that like a cloth? Uh, like a twin twin lead that they're using? I believe so. Wow. Wow. That's wild. <laughs> So, Barry, do you have a website or anything that you I, sell through? Or? I don't. I, I oh. do it as a hobby. Okay. Uh, right. You know, That's fun. cool. That's I cool. I like doing what I do. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> Mark got me started. Yeah. About, yeah. I don't know, 10 years ago. Yeah. Now you're hooked. I'm hooked. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so we stop what here. This is the end of your stuff, or is it down there? Yeah, way? my stuff. This isn't mine. But okay. Stop right here, and then everything on the front. Okay, right, I'll go to the front and take another shot. Good. So NHCA, yeah, we're gonna get you on, man. <laughs> All right, so we got it finally me. Yeah, man. NHCA. Yeah. Now, where are you from? Uh, well, we live in Montreal, Ohio, just oh. west of Toledo. Oh, but we're both from Michigan. My oh. wife and I. So that's a heck of a trip. Uh, yeah. 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 Where, where are you from? That's pretty cool. Well, that's a big trip for you. Yeah, it's not bad. About an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So you watch some of my videos. Oh, yeah. And good. you still want to meet me? Well, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, I've repaired so many things that you repaired oh. in the past. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I find your channel uh, fascinating. Yeah, cool. Cool. So, I appreciate it, man. Hopefully you still have more things to repair. Oh, yeah. I got five. Oh, well, you do? Piles. So yeah. people send you stuff? And yeah, well, see, what, what people don't realize is I got a day job, so I'm usually gone like 10 hours a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, so then I come home and I'm racing to try and do some repairs and get a video out, keep everybody happy, right? And then the best part is when yes. I get done and I get the money, I give it to my wife. <laughs> That's a smart move. It is, man. It is. She's, she's good for me. She, she's put up with my crap. Yeah, I saw her on the left. She's here. She's around here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, uh, do you have any, you know, I was looking at some camera and stuff over there. Yeah. And I said to the guys, because they knew you, I said, how surprised Terry is over here looking at this hammer and stuff. Well, see, I'm only allowed to shoot video. I'm not allowed. To buy oh, it today, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do uh, go around and buy wine and then drink that at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good deal. Uh, you have good, uh, good taste. Uh, oh, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, you know. I, I do. It's just a hobby, and I'm just trying to share it with people. Because you know what? Once we're gone. Who, who else is going to take you know, over? I mean, you know, I, when I got into ham radio, I built my first trap. Yeah. 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 Two, two. Yep. 66 oscillator, 6146 right. uh, transmitter. And now what do they do? They get this little box, they hook it up to their computer. Yeah, right. You know, I'm a ham operator. Yeah, the whole that. <laughs> I don't know. So Barry said he uh, accidentally sneezed right at the beginning right. of the show, and <laughs> there it is, man. But but you know it's funny how well that dried, man. Yeah. Yeah, you must have so, one heck of a cold. <laughs> <laughs> must have been. Uh, I don't know. Did you bring Brutus, by the way? Who? Brutus. Brutus. Your angry bird. Oh no no no! <laughs> no, I didn't bring any of the characters uh, this time. Okay. I did bring wine though. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, I got wine, That's man. That's good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep your stuff, man. So you're what? Here? All right. Man, I gotta look at that big Kenwood receiver over there, man. It's gorgeous. Everything fully functions. Yeah. I love the colors. I do that. Too. Yeah. See foam green. Wow. I got a Crosley. A little bit different than the Crosley stuff you're seeing today. Exactly. Yeah. Which, <laughs> I tell my wife when we go to antique shows, I, yeah. I tell her. Start up my DX100. Oh, okay. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Great video on the horse. She's got Good. video cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a beginner and I'll probably never, I'll probably never grow on Google. Yeah. 
Well, that's why I'm putting that stuff out there, because once we're all gone, how are people going to find out that information? Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty neat video. They're cool. I appreciate it. Also, the one, yeah, I do. I appreciate it, too. Also, the one on uh, Zero Beat. Oh, yeah. You did that one, too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. It's good meeting you. Yeah, yeah you too, care. sir. Okay, thanks, Terry. Yeah, so sweet this Kenwood. He is gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, was the blue lighting like that originally on this? This LED? No, right? it was blue. Oh, was it blue? Okay. Maybe not that color. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Cool. Right, so I got a guy over here came up to me and said he saw my channel and then we got interrupted so we didn't get to talk but now oh, no, we get to talk channel. yeah man are yeah. who are you now andy andy yes. and where are you from uh south lion south lion michigan oh okay, okay so that's towards uh you know brighton oh, okay right so this wasn't too bad of a trip no not at yeah. all cool right. so you're here because you saw some d live videos Yes. And did you see the one where Marsh and I are like drinking and said, you guys got to come to the show? I've seen your uh, service videos where you're drinking wine. Oh, yeah. But I've seen yeah. you uh, just yeah. going around and uh, surveying all the vendors yeah. and, and checking the place out. Yep. And, and, really and talking cool. to people. And, yeah. and, and I came here, but you know what wasn't on your last video? This many people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Which is good. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's good. It's good turnout. Yeah. And I'm glad you made it. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Good Great. meeting you, man. Yeah. Good to meet you, too. <laughs> How you doing there today? Good. Got tube guy, right? Yeah. What, what is your the actual name in the business? It's camtubes.com. Camtubes.com. Okay. Catch me on the web and uh, set you up. Whatever you need. All right. You know what I need? A pair of 7027As. I do have. Do you? Yes. Check them out, man. Give you a special right. price. That's good. All right. All right, so I found a nice set of Raytheon 7027As for that Ranger 2. And these are the old originals. So you see the box? Made in Massachusetts. So these are a match pair. Now this is the newer series that you would normally see. And you say that these were GEs possibly? And these are normally Japanese. The oldest, the oh, newer Japanese. brand. They have to 1967, 68, 69. I don't know exactly. Okay. They definitely have to 70. Yeah. And these are the older ones which are the made here in the U.S. Cool. Well, that's the ones I'm going to so buy. So that's how the, that's how you find the difference in the Raytheon. And then we got some RCAs over here, but I like this metal base. I'm going to polish that up. It'll be gorgeous in the Ranger. I think it's an empty console, though. Mike, you still got to pay a big dollar. A lot going on. I wonder if Mike forgot those glasses. Because everybody's taking things out of here. I saw it. thought to find her and ask her. Oh, these guys bought this thing. Did you guys buy that, Jeff? Not a body. Yeah, how, mu how much does it weigh? It's not heavy. <laughs> I work out all the time. So okay. That's cool, man. This is what I meant to. There's a helicopter running. Uh, that's pretty you know how crazy. The control works? Yeah. Control works. Yeah. 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 Very cool. All right, she's all yours. Okay. okay give me a <laughs> <laughs> we'll, see we'll see you next year, right? I'll be here. Okay, good deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go ahead. Is he? yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There it is. Marilyn, Marilyn, you're going to love this lady. You are going to have more fun with her than you can imagine. Oh, I look forward to meeting you. Yeah. All right. Good deal. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so you guys always see me walk through these swap meets, and I buy nothing. And you say, Terry, why didn't you buy that amp? Well, oh, look over there. Well, guess what I did? I bought an amp. I got it from Kelton. He's from Tennessee. And this was a attic find? This is a true attic find out of a house in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And uh, it is as it was found. Nothing's been, nothing's been done to it. Um, what you see is what you get. But it's actually in pretty good shape, uh, all things considered. It's got a nice decal, the original speaker cloth. Uh, for you Catlin fans, Catlin knobs on top, bright yeah. red. Yeah. Um, 1952, I believe, Premier Model 110, but I'm not the expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not either. I've never actually worked on one of these, so this is going to be a great refurbishing type video. 
You guys will see it in a couple months. The D Live Electronics. Thanks, man. Thank you much. All right. Yeah. A couple, couple yeah. Super 700 and uh, we're going to get Well, my buddy got the South Sea. It's 700. Smile, James. You're on camera. I mean, hey. <laughs> How's it going? We're getting her going. Oh, yeah. 1937, Detroit. Really? 1938. Next one, man. <laughs> Try to get some reception in this building. But Try a different antenna. Yeah, it's a beauty. Isn't it? Yeah. I had a wood guy do the, the woodwork. It was missing this molding right here. He took a mold of it and uh, reproduced this molding right here. Hmm. It was missing, missing a big strip of veneer off the top. And he uh, put a new, new, new veneer on the top. So. It looks great. Put a new lamp in it. Keep it's that old stuff going, man. That's yeah. what it's about. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yeah, So it's time to play how many capacitors are in the jar. If you can guess, you can probably win a two. We've got a bunch of old consoles here needing a new home. 85 for that one. $62 for the Zenith. With the Zenith over here. And a Philco. Philco is actually in great shape. Good stuff. All right, so we, it's the Muse Audio Service, right? Yes. Yeah. Hello, I'm Doug. Been working for Jeff for two years. Um, I, I, I'm working here. I'm not a tech, but I see the care and love he puts into every unit that goes out of his place. I've got exceptional hearing. I do the quality control. I enjoy music, have enjoyed music for a long time. I had a very sophisticated stereo system in 1970, cost $12,000 then, and today it'll be like a $150,000 stereo system. So uh, I, musicians were attracted to our house because, you know, when one guy came by and goes, you're not even musicians, you got this stuff. So uh, big, big audio file for a long time. Jeff is a very competent person. He understands what, uh, uh, upgrades are worthwhile so and if then I can give them they listen and decide if it really is an improvement because some of these aren't cheap upgrades right. for example the uh, one of the phase linear upgrades the board is five hundred dollars but the units are a thousand dollars more after they've been done mm -hmm. because people know with this board in it it's a way better sounding sure. system so and you guys are offering a free checkout service yeah, here, today right? we're having a twenty dollar come in and check out your unit oh, okay. uh, so you can decide if uh, questionable units you have are repairable or not you can give it an assessment quick okay. and then tell you bring it by the shop later or uh, sometimes we take the unit now but mostly yeah. it's come by later when the uh, Check. So we got Kathy's the, our office manager. Kathy, how you doing? Yeah, and I'll, I'll walk down to the service area there. Yeah. Jeff's sister. Jeff, I'm in okay. charge of paperwork and organizing. All right, good deal. Yeah. Daniel's another tech here. Okay. How you doing, Daniel? Good, man. Good to see you. Uh, stereo there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a right. Sansui uh, 9090 DB. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, this I'm going to just walk through here real quick. So we got another one here. Is that Monster? Like big old Pioneer. Got the guys testing out a unit right now. Yeah. Dave and Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Very busy right now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Excellent, guys. Well, I appreciate you taking time. We'll see you next year, right? Okay. And I, All right, so, so Scott's looking at a tube checker, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. You're I on, need, man. I need a tube checker. All right. So what I want to know is if I can test the 80s. I would think so. It's got the, too. It's the got right socket configurations. configurations. Yeah. Then it even had a four. Yeah, so I think it will. Yeah, it's a nice clean unit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so he said it works. All right. So, but I don't see any of them that I jump out at me that I recognize on here. Hmm. So All right. I see like the ones I have at home. So Scott found me through uh, the D Lab video stuff. And yes, we I were, really enjoy watching. Yeah. We do it a lot. We we're supposed to have met up what a couple weeks ago, yeah. but yep. I was too busy. Can well, you imagine that? You'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good meeting you, man. Hey, it was great. Yes. Thank you so right. much. Yeah, I just uh, right. oh, there's an '83. So that no, I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous about being on. Yeah, I don't know. I, so we got a seller here, right? And you're from the club. I am. I'm Eric Nani. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, I wanted. Uh, nice, uh, Sylvania tube tester. 
Yeah. Can we, uh, can can I plug it in over there and just see that the dial works? Absolutely. And then I'm good, I think. Yeah, yeah. You're more than welcome to check it out. Okay. All right, I'll let you guys fight it out. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So here's a real classic Cadillac cassette player. Very cool. Yep. Here's a car. Very cool. All right, so we have a Macintosh 240 in the silent auction. Opening bid, thousand bucks. Pretty good shape. I knew. Okay. So, Marsha found. No, no, no. It's so difficult. What'd you <laughs> well, find? I didn't know what What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? I found this one. Uh huh. Let's see if I can lift it up there. Attention, William Barker. Huh. William Barker, if you are so here, appears to be have some, money some type of a integrated amplifier. Let's open up the hood. Please uh, take a look go inside. to the uh, table. Can you open it? Front it should open. Of the front room next to the radio rescue table. Take like a Thanks. pin, put it in there. There you go. Oh, that's good. I'll okay. take it off for you. Okay. Yes. Difficult there. There. Ah, there it goes. Oh, oh wow. it comes right off. Oh, so it's. Here's you know, you, is this you know like about a, these? Is this a tape drive like reverb unit? Or it's something? a reverb, yes. It is a reverb. E okay. Echo, echo reverb. Yep. Depending on how you set it, if you set it at the lowest setting, it probably would be more reverb. Wow. If you expand it out, it would be a very large echo. Huh. I'm assuming these are very rare. Very I've never rare. seen one, yeah. Yeah, very, 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 very rare. That's why it's priced it accordingly. Yep. A lot of people kind of balk a little bit, but if you know your stuff, you know just what you're looking sure. at. Sure. Very, very rare. Great. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Matt was a big knob there that turns the antenna. The antenna oh. is inside a metal box with an electric grid. Okay. Supposedly it was to improve reception. I couldn't tell you. But, uh, that's the main reason I got it, to look at that antenna system, and then I never got around to it. Oh, you can see in the back? Just, just through this little slot. All right, yeah. we'll have... Where are we going for dinner? Where are we going for dinner? Yeah, she saw the money, she, man. You're she, in trouble. Would, she would never, she would never, he would never allow me to take his will, wife to Will dinner. you buy me dinner, too? Yep. Then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you been, man? Well, it's kind of a long trip over here. Yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah. Two and a half hours. Well, hopefully the sales have made it worth it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. And Marsha yeah. being here. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That makes it worth it. Yeah, he came and found me. I yeah. Bet. He, like, rushed as soon as he saw me. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, I, I, sales have been pretty good. Excellent. And, uh, you know, it's never... I can't lift any of this stuff because I had broke yeah, right cuff here. surgery yeah. and it's got to be done all over. So you should just give it all to me and I'll haul everything back to my house. You, what? Uh, duh. What? Duh. <laughs> what? And what's your name, sir? Steve. Steve. And uh, you're from Kalamazoo, right? Came yep. up for the swap? Yep, I did. So it was a heck of a drive, wasn't it? A couple hours. Yeah. Yep. Looks like the snow's going to make it a little longer to get home. That's what I hear. So you started out with a whole table full and... About half a table at least, yeah. yeah. Really? That, and you're just down the two pieces. That's doing pretty good. You mark them down a little bit. See yeah. what happens. All right, ma'am. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Two or three of those. Yeah. yeah okay, they're... go. Okay, I uh oh I, had... I, had... I only got five bucks. She's got it. <laughs> she's got it. I know she's got it. It's all right. No, no, yeah. no. See? Look at there. What'd you buy? Look at that. Twenty dollar bill. Yeah. I'm buying this. Yeah. yeah. And, and, he, and he's paying me. Sit. It's paid. Yeah. Paid and in what full. are you going to do with that? Turn it into a little practice amp. Probably a little 6AQ5 Sync London amp. Okay. Fit in there. You have a beautiful wood cabinet yeah. with the ecstatic emblem. Yeah. 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 Very this, cool. This will all okay. stay the same. Yep. Sure will. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, all right. All right, what's the story? I know you're qualified to tell me this. I know it wasn't the tube thing, but this has to be you here. Yeah, right? okay. okay. Well, I'll tell you what I know. Uh -huh. I think she came in a box with some radio stuff. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Um, yeah. As, you know, radio stuff comes with other stuff in the boxes. So. You know, when I buy tubes, I want to find a head in there. 
Uh, my dad found a similar one maybe from like the 30s and thinks that it was for a sort of a theatrical, maybe like a haunted house type of... Yeah, it's cool. It is. Yeah. So what is it? I mean, what is the... This is... This Do you know is... what it is? All no. iron, seemingly, that someone pieced together. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then she's ceramic, it. right? Yeah. 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 With um, this wig that's sort of... Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I'm completely certain that it's fake hair. Oh. Oh, wow. Because it's very crumbly. But. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, Vincent Price's Wax Museum. Remember uh -huh. everybody looked really real? It's because he put wax over people. Yeah. That might be what's going on yeah. here. Well, anyway, it's for... Uh, yeah, for what laugh. it is, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Does some kind of a violet stuff and you put it on there. It's supposed to be some kind of a beauty treatment. Really? Yes. Wow. Huh. Kind of looks like a piece of pipe. Great. That's very cool. Huh. Kind of looks like some of the stuff the doctor was checking me with, if you think about it. Don't go there. <laughs> bet you guys have never seen a quack medical machine. So I think what this was for, March, huh. is electrocuting people. I think they hooked this up and kind of give you a jolt. Tell me what you know. Is it safe? Is it safe? What's that off of? <laughs> Come on, you gotta know the movie. Is it safe? <laughs> Marathon <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't, I forgot. Ah, okay. I, I pushed that, okay, go. So you have any idea what this is? Rotary dial. This is a analog dial attachment for a smartphone. You put this <laughs> on your smartphone, you can call people the way you should be calling. Like That's it? bad. <laughs> Is that dust? Yeah. Yeah, so this was an old radio. They actually called it the dust mite. <laughs> you don't believe me? You should. Artillery, construction, and paratroops. Is that our era? And these are the real thing. Well, they look like they're badly made enough to be the real thing, yeah. <laughs> right. If you look on the back, you can usually see a, a state mark of some kind like that one. Huh. Usually there's some text on the back, that, uh, huh. but the other key is it's almost always this sort of a pattern on the back of the metal, too. Yes, yeah, it's like a pot metal, I guess they yeah, called it. Yeah, that's yep. basically the cheapest thing they can yeah. that would hold the color in the shape. Huh. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, parts and stuff. I saw five dollars on this bit here, so I just thought, oh, it's automatically worth more than five bucks. So I paid five bucks for all of it. Excellent. And then I got this Hercules of a soldering iron. <laughs> so. Yeah. What do we call those? Yeah. Snozzeramus? Yeah, yeah. If you look at D-Lab Electronics videos, I have one of these big unkers that my dad used when I was a kid to build, like, slot cars. You know what slot yeah. cars are? Yeah, I have a set in my basement. Okay. Yeah, he used to build the chassis out of brass, and he had this big iron. We called it Snozzeramus. It was just a stupid name we had when we were kids. But anyway, man, I appreciate you showing us the goodies. Now, are you getting interested in the hobby? Oh, I actually am a huge collector. I have a lot of stuff. I actually have a prototype radio uh -huh. that, because my great great grandpa used to run a radio shop, so we actually inherited this old prototype. It was never actually released in the market. It's like a Philco. Uh, it's very very cool because cool. it, like, it's just a bunch of parts, and it's just a prototype that was built for the Philco company that was supposed to be put on display. Yeah. Because you know it was. A, supposed to get consumers excited. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. We don't have all the parts for it, so I was hoping you could find some of the parts for it in here. But sure. I also got this really cool Philosoph speaker. Oh yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's got a few cracks, but I think I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's a little stand for it, and then you got some TV parts and stuff, so that's really cool. Yeah. Well, here, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to give you a card. Go ahead and shut that off. I need a pen. Okay. Alright, so that's a wrap for the Winter Electronics Expo here in Farmington Hills. If you want to come to the summer meet, get on the VEE.org website and all the information's there. And I think Marsha and I will be attending as long as Marsha gets her way. That's how it always works, huh, sweetie? Right.